Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar from through the weather warnings we do have rain warnings issued for Scotland for the rest of this working week as we are going to see some areas of heavy rainfall move in as we start to see quite a warm humid air mass move up from the south. Now that warm and hum humid air mass we'll have a look at in detail on the latest UKV as we can now see the whole weekend where it's looking likely that temperatures at least for England or Wales are widely going to be in the low to maybe even mid 20s and we're even seeing on Sunday perhaps a few areas at 26 or 27 degrees pretty ridiculous as we head into October but as we'll see on some of the longer range charts from the GFS, GM, East and WF and the ensembles, even though we'll see a couple of days of a resurgence of summer, we have to remember we are descending into autumn and eventually winter. So colder weather or generally cooler weather is always on the horizon. And some of the runs today are actually showing it going from very warm this weekend to perhaps very cold as we head into the middle of next working week with quite a cold northerly plunge in around seven to ten days' time from some of the runs. Again, nothing hugely out of the ordinary, but will be a very contrast to what we're seeing this weekend and potentially could give some frosts quite widely in the north and maybe even some wintry showers in a few places. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see we've got a much fresher westerly flow in today. So if, especially if you've been in the southeast, where it's been pretty muggy the last few days. Not massively warm, but relatively muggy, with those dew points being quite high. You've probably felt it being a lot fresher out there today, as we've seen proper North Atlantic autumnal air masses move in. It's delivered a few showers further northwards, pretty typical for a northwesterly flow but hasn't been too bad for most areas today as i'm recording this around 7 p.m you can see temperatures are widely yellows and blue so much cooler than it was yesterday well, we didn't see big thunderstorms break out but we saw much more in the way of yellows and oranges in the southeast now with more blues mixing in so more of those temperatures towards the low teens or even high single digits for some areas trending more to what we'd expect during winter and you can see the cold front is that swept through yesterday it's now positioned out into central europe and you can see still warm for poland parts of germany down towards southeast europe but for northwest europe we're now at a much fresher air mass as said, towards the end of this working week, we are going to see a lot of rain in the north. We've got rain warning issued for pretty much all of tomorrow for Scotland here. Western Scotland has been updated just to extend the warning further northwards towards Fort William. Again, 20 to 40 millimetres could fall quite widely across the warning area, maybe 50 to 6 millimetres in a few places. And then we have a more widespread yellow warning that hasn't been updated today. Again, it's from 3pm on Thursday until midnight on Friday. Could see up to 25 to 50 millimetres quite widely, 75 in a few locations, and across the West Highlands, 75 to 125 millimetres possible, and maybe even 150 millimetres in a few spots. Real huge amounts of rainfall. Again, it is fairly regional, but nevertheless could cause some issues where it does occur. If you look at the latest UKV now, you'll be able to see uh, what's going to be happening over the next five days in terms of the precipitation and the temperatures. Now you can see the rain starting to move in for Scotland overnight tonight. And you can kind of see it's just on a train of rainfall where even though it doesn't look too intense or too widespread, it just keeps moving in from the west and continues for most of Wednesday. It's a bit of a uh, that rain dies out a little bit for those areas, but then another resurgence of rain moving in for Thursday and Friday, and this is starting to introduce the very warm, humid air for southern areas as this rain moves in. As it clears northwards, eventually we will start to see that real warm, humid air move in, and you can start to see some sunshine for Saturday and for Sunday. And again, it doesn't look spectacular on the precipitation chart. But those upper air temperatures are pretty ridiculous. Look at this. By Sunday afternoon, the 18 degree isotherm is in. And on Saturday, it actually even gets the 19 degree isotherm in. Ridiculous upper air temperatures for early autumn. You can see the cold air isn't too far away. Minus four, minus five, just off the north, north coast of Scotland. But... For most of the British Isles, we're in an exceptionally warm air mass. I've said this in a number of times over the last few videos. If we saw this sort of air mass in the middle of summer, we'd be thinking mid-30s, widespread heat wave. Instead, falling in autumn is mean temperatures perhaps mid-20s at best. 
If you look at those max temperatures, you'll be able to see that tomorrow temperatures could just about peak around the 17 or 18 degree mark. So much cooler than it's been recently, but still not too bad. Slightly above average in a few spots. Into Thursday, you still could see maybe an isolated 17 or 18, but many more areas down towards the mid to low teams as rain starts to move in. Into Friday, temperatures starting to rise, in fact, across parts of England and Wales, maybe 20 to 22 degrees. And then Saturday, the warmth really starts to build widely 20 to 22 degrees as high as 23 or 24 in a few spots but you can see for scotland where we got that much colder atlantic air still trapped only high single digits and then finally into sunday look at that widespread warmth like we are in the middle of july temperatures widely in the low 20s we've been mid 20s could peak at 25 26 maybe even as high as 27 or 28 in a few isolated regions again the models will have will struggle with uh, forecasting the exact temperatures as this is a very unusual time of year to see these sort of air masses so we don't have too much uh, history in terms of being able to predict this so we will just have to see but widely mid-20s looks possible maybe even up towards 27 28 degrees and it does definitely look likely now that we won't get close to the all-time temperature record of 29.9 degrees will be uh, as the models are still sort of three four degrees off um and i don't see that being that that really changing in the next couple of days to that extent the uncertainty of the temperatures maybe could be a degree or two but not three or four so i do think it is very very unlikely we get anywhere remotely close to the 29.9 degrees but nevertheless still a pretty historic air mass moving in but as I said, as we head in towards the middle of October, there is the possibility we actually see it going very cold for the time of year. Now you can see the high pressure building in over the coming days with a very strong southerly wind, intense heat, 15 degree hours firm moving in, and in of the temperature deviation, we are well above average. The GFS is actually pretty pessimistic compared to other runs. It's one of the cooler runs here compared to the majority of others, which gets it to us towards 12 degrees above average. But we'll keep the upper air temperatures on, because if we do watch what happens beyond this, you can see eventually the warm air gets pushed away, and we actually start to see a northerly wind arrive. The minus 5 isotherm arrives in northern England and Scotland, even stretching down perhaps towards Northern Ireland and even the Midlands potentially, and that's a very cold air mass in around 10 days' time. You can see the temperature deviation, look at that, 12 degrees below average, and you can see the potential equivalent temperature really quite cold as well again nothing ridiculous you know still out of the north uh, it's still cold for the time of year but nothing out of the ordinary to see a northerly blast um but it would be a very big shock to see some sort of air masses we haven't seen in around six months but this is one gfs and other runs are less optimistic with this and eventually in the longer term you see quite a blocked pattern and relatively cold pattern with the jet stream tracking further southwards lots of cooler fresher arctic and north atlantic air masses moving in now if we do look at the gm see how that does compare this has definitely been more of an optimistic run with the heat wave or the hot spell we're seeing this weekend you can see that heat arriving towards the weekend and if you look again look at the temperature deviation ridiculous 12 degrees above average and then eventually gets swept away by fresher atlantic air and yes we do see some cold air move in but actually the majority of it gets pushed out in the Atlantic, so slightly different evolution to the low pressure here, meaning the cold air, you see the temperature deviation here, goes well out into the North Atlantic, in missing the UK. It still does go fresher, definitely does go below average, uh, you can see that colder blues move in for a time, but nowhere near as potent as the GFS. Now the ECMWF, again building in the heat over the coming days again look at those temperature deviations up towards 12 degrees above average but if we do move beyond that eventually colder fresher air moves in again nowhere near as cold as the gfs but colder than the gm with fresher arctic air moving in and you can see we're around that four to six maybe as low as eight degrees below average so really quite cold before eventually that would likely get swept away so all three runs showing it going fresher in the long term GM just showing slightly fresh North Atlantic air, Eastern Blue F showing some moderated Arctic air, and the GFS showing a proper Arctic blast. Now, if you look at the latest ensembles, if we start on the latest GFS, you can see that it is looking likely to get very warm this weekend, well above the 15 degree ice firm for the majority of models, and sticking around for quite a few days before we see a descent around the middle of the month. 
And this is where we could see quite a few runs go well below average and even pretty cold. You can see some runs getting well below the zero degree hours firm, even down to the minus five with a reintroduction of precipitation. So it's turning pretty cold there. You can see the temperature is going to be up towards the mid 20s this weekend with a steady rise over the coming days and then a steady drop off. And some of the runs going quite cold in the longer term, including the operational run, which is down to 11 or 12 degrees in the long term. Again, that doesn't sound ridiculously cold, but for early October, off the back of seeing mid 20s and for the southeast, where it's traditionally holding to the warmth uh, and generally milder temperatures for longer that would be quite cold and would feel pretty potent and you can see the dew points quite a few going towards the zero degree line indicating dry cold arctic air something we haven't seen in a long time now the ecmwf runs are slightly less uh, pessimistic in terms of bringing cold air in but you can see they're more optimistic and bring very warm air in this weekend most of the runs having 18 or 19 degree isofer moving in for slowly dropping off in the long term and there's a bit of a dip around the 12th or 13th of october when quite a few runs go down to the zero degree point and again we'll have to really keep a close eye on that to see if that does come off uh, but you can see that beyond that we're generally around average so definitely signs of a bit of a colder blast but still uncertainty with it. the only certainty we do have is it's going to go incredibly warm this weekend and i just want to finish by looking at glasgow on the upper air temperatures you can see warm this weekend but with more precipitation again more associated with with low pressure off the atlantic but you can see some quite cold runs in the longer term Again, giving the risk of some northerly winds, and you can see the dew points are quite cold from some of the runs, including the operational run, which is pretty cold run today, as we saw a few minutes ago. So it is looking quite interesting over the next couple of weeks. We could really see some hugely contrasting patterns starting to develop from going very warm summer-like this weekend to potentially even early winter-like in around 10 days' time, if that sort of northerly wind pattern does come off. There have been rumblings of it for the last couple of days, but I haven't covered it because it has been in the extended range. But now it's veering more into the medium range. We could start to actually contemplate it. We could see uh, it, it, with these sort of uh, temperatures like 26, 27 degrees on the weekend, maybe down towards 11 or 12 beyond that, we could see almost a 15 degree temperature swing, which is pretty ridiculous for the UK. But we will have to just see at the moment, it is looking very warm, very mild and potentially really quite pleasant this weekend. So make sure you do go out and enjoy that and kind of forget that winter is coming. Enjoy those last grasp of summer that we're seeing over the next week or so. Um, so, yeah, go out and enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.